So a couple weeks ago, I did a video about recreating a kitchen from photos, from photos on the MLS. And it turns out I did get that contract. Congrats me, right? So um, that and that was a wow factor just to follow up. A uh, client was very impressed. And I got to say, you know, got to kind of speak to chief architect. This this is the type of stuff that I'm going to be providing for you for when you want to walk through your kitchen. And, and it will be iterative and it will be um, collaborative and you'll feel like you had a heavy hand in designing your kitchen. So we talked about the kitchen. So this is the follow up video. I now have the design contract. And so I do have one conceptualized design, a schematic design that I can present. Um, I actually have two, but one's more polished than the other. Now, the initial thought was that we're going to keep it in this kind of same footprint over here on this side. And that's fine. And I told the client that, look, this kind of feels just like it's going to be a facelift. And in which case, I'm not going to charge you my typical design fee because facelifts don't take me that much time. But if you are interested, one of the reasons that they didn't pick a different designer is they were adamant about putting the kitchen over here, which is where the view is. And I mean, this is this is the view, right? We recreated this view. So here's the view. Dining area is here. Living room is here. And, and they were happy with where their dining room is set up so that they have the view off the dining room. And, you know, these, these doors are actually, I have these doors incorrect. These are aluminum doors. They're, they're leaking air, right, to a sunroom that's not, not really um, built up to our standards. It's leaking air as well. It's not, um, from a climate, climatization perspective, this, this room costs a lot to heat, costs a lot to cool. Um, so it makes sense to maybe replace this door. Anyways. Um, so I did a design that was kind of a facelift here, and I'm not going to show you that today um, because truly that's in the beginning stages of schematic design. But what I will, will show you is what I developed from this. And so let's just jump in. This is our front entrance. And I mean, this was a big problem for me was one, when you came in the front entrance, it just didn't feel... I don't know. It, it didn't feel very welcoming. I always want to draw people towards a space. So... Um, even though this chair is kind of um, a product of how I designed the space, it does add some intrigue to this walk-in. And it's also, I, I do feel like that part's improved a little bit. Um, but let's turn a hard left, which is, you know, typically what they're going to be doing is they're going to be coming in towards the living room. And I put some, I put some furnishings in here just to give it some feel and, and understand the space of everything. And then... Let me just sit here for a second and let this kind of iron itself out for, for a minute. Um, I'm going to show you the brief. Now, when I get into my file organization, I'm going to get into Dropbox. And I haven't um, given this project a new folder icon, which I typically would. But you will see in here, I drag a couple things in here. One is um, the listing from like a realtor.com with all the pictures, one's Google Maps, and the last one is gonna be a Pinterest board. And the Pinterest board, um, I always ask for this, so that if the client's got some inspiration photos that they've been gathering, I wanna see those photos and kind of see the look and feel of what they're going for. And you can see here, it looks like they might've been taking a stab at trying to design them this themselves, because they've got some you know space requirement stuff here. Um, but for the most part, it's got this a similar look and feel throughout all these photos, which makes this a really nice inspiration board. So a lot of open shelf pictures, uh, a lot of these freestanding you know, ranges with um, these boxed hoods and a lot of color cabinets and kind of pastels and stuff like that. So I think I hit the brief with my design. Let's go take a look again. The purpose of this video is just to take you through my entire process so right now this is schematic design it's not fully developed design it may seem like it's fully developed part of the reason is because i've got some tools that get me to a fully developed um, design very quickly so let's take a walk through let's walk in through the kitchen i like this we're checking some boxes for the client they wanted a peninsula setup and in the other configuration, I wasn't going to be able to get you much of a peninsula. You know, you're you're working at the, the sink. You've got the view. 
you've got kind of a nice division of space and also some communication that can happen in between these these rooms that's nice um we're very close to a decent working triangle although you may have heard this in past i don't truly believe in the working triangle the way that we used to um i've got some new thoughts about how people do things with their working triangle um i really do believe you know you unload stuff from the refrigerator for co certain cooking styles and then you place your prep stuff on your prep counter and it's a one trip time it's the only time it's an inconvenience the rest of the time i just want to make sure i've got nice long lengths of cabinets the other thing is this client has a lot of cooking books and she wanted them out on display now i do have them removed from this scene of course she could be putting some of these cooking books up on the shelves here but I have that this in kind of an interesting install, which it's removed from the kitchen enough so that you wouldn't feel bad about um, putting some of the long -ster term storage here. And again, this is top of my head schematic design. This is not fully considered. So I'm going to have a back and forth with a client where they tell me things that they like and things that they don't like. So I could be flip-flopping the refrigerator and the ovens. We could do away with the ovens and go with a range. You know, any number of things could happen in our first uh, design talk. But the things I like to check off my box is um, from one point to another, paths of travel. Does this invite you in? And yes, it does. You know, we've got uh, two fixed points from here from the front. You can see when you walk in, there is something interesting happening here. And I would like to go see what it is. There is obviously something interesting happening here. I don't mind going to see what's going on. Then we get to another point. There's something interesting going on in this kitchen. Yes, I would like to go see what it is. And then... It even makes the sunroom a little bit more interesting as well, as well as us giving it the opportunity to kind of seal this room up. The sunroom feels like it actually has a better flow when we're walking in from this direction from my perspective. So we'll have to see what the client thinks about that. And then in from the hall, you know, coming down from the bedrooms, taking a right hand turn. Is this a nice entrance into the room? I really do feel like it is. I feel like it is. I feel like this is a night, nice, bright, shiny sunny kitchen well that's hard <laughs> and and it's got a good look and feel now the other reason i want to show you guys this is because you're going to see this kitchen again and the reason you're going to see this kitchen again is because i took the opportunity for this kitchen to come up with a system so that i could quickly replace items on a shelf i do not want to have to place items on shelves and then move them in the z delta over and over and over again i don't want to do it it takes too long so I came up with a system that works for quickly replacing things. Now let me switch to standard rendering mode so we can see how quickly this works without being lagged down by the PBR. For some reason, navigation in the library takes a long time when we're also in a PBR rendering mode. So here we go. I've got this whole system and it's hot swap. And you do have to resize some shelves based on the, the hot swap item. Like this is a single... Uh, section hot swap so I'd have to resize the shelf in order not to stretch that um, I could set up stretch planes but I don't want to it's easier just to stretch the shelf and add another section but you can see here very quickly I'm just changing out things on the fly that was a set of glasses you can't see it in this rendering mode maybe you can if we turn on line over and line over is going to kind of show you well actually there's the only divisions in shelves are when they don't butt these are built from cabinets. So this is kind of a clever way for me to come in here and be able to replace sections really quickly. So I've got this system. This system is going to be paid. I spent too much time on it. You know, it's it's just one of those things. But if it saves you a ton of time on every project, then, then it's worth it. I even have some appliances in here for the hot swap. So um, kind of cool. Works works pretty well and the other great thing about this is it's a left hand or right hand door so you can reflect it about itself and actually reverse the symbol which means you can make these you know be pretty dynamic if i can catch the front of this thing Let's see there it is so you could flip it about reflect about object there you go and it actually flips the symbol so Oops, 
Some, I sprayed a color there. Some plates. So pretty clever. So I'll never have to be building out these shelves again without, you know, just being able to quickly make my decor work, which means that, you know, I can add those books up here as well. I, th I think I added that as one of the options. Let's filter down to my user library. And, you know, I'd, I always have that prefix RD. If I typed in RD books, that would work as well. But here you go, books as shelf. There's actually one that's going to be books as cabinet door. There we go. So I can swap this out for those books. Pretty clever. Let's go back to PBR. And everything looks pretty good, you know, up to my quality for PBR. Um, I made a custom texture for the glassware um, so that it stands out a little bit. Just a little bit once, once you fully iron out the sample rate on this. So anyways thought i'd showcase this this is the next step in this particular design i'll show you where it goes from here um, before we finalize and get to construction documents and then i'll show you what my construction documents for this project look like down the road so might be a couple months from now we'll see hope you enjoyed